what's up everybody how are you all doing happy diwali and we did decide how are you all doing man how are you all doing i don't know it's been quite some time since i uploaded a video on youtube but i've been pretty busy and now festivals are going on my NCM exams are coming up so it's gonna take a lot of my time but we're here with a new room on trike me white rose and i'll walk you guys through it so let's just begin Welcome to White Rose. This challenge is based on Mr. Robot episode 409 conflict and go ahead and start the machine. We have already started and they provided us with credentials of Olivia user which will be later used. So let's just try to connect to the Triacme VPN. I'll create a White Rose directory. Let's just try pinging the box. We can and map basic scan. Let's just get on with it and straight ahead we got two ports open port 80 and port 22. let's see what do we have on port 80. so we got it's redirecting us to a domain sapphirusbank.dhm let's just go ahead and add it to our etsy host and i think it's just my cache memory that's it's updating it's loading the page right now you see now it's not loading so because I sold the room earlier, that's why. Now, if we try to reload this, now we can see it. National Bank of Sapphires. Uh, Sapphires. We are currently under maintenance. Thank you for your patience. I don't know what got into me that moment. I couldn't just read. Never mind. So, we got two ports open. What? How the hell Varsha got open? Okay. So we got SSH in port 80. I would just like to go ahead and use fuf on the domain and see if we have some directories. Uh, first, we, are we gonna use secless, big.txt, secless, discovery, web content, big.txt. And let's see if we have any. Usually there, when there's a domain, uh, I would like to go and first for subdomains too. So let's just do that. Host, we got a fuzz here, and the domain name is virusbank.dhm. And again, we're gonna use secless wordless because they're just great. DNS, and we're gonna use subdomain top one million txt. And let's see. Okay, it's giving a lot of false positive. Let's just filter out for words. We don't want to see. Uh, we don't want to see with the words that just got one word and straight ahead we got admin subdomain and doesn't look like we got any subdirectories so I'll just stop it here and go ahead and add it at Seahost again and add admin.sapphiresbank.dhm now let's go to the subdomain admin.sapphiresbank.dhm and we got a login page and we can stop it now so Let's see. Safaris National Bank admin panel and customers. This login is for managers and admins. And go to the customer. Customer just redirect us to the main domain. We got search, settings, messages, and login. So I don't think we can access these until we log in. And if you do remember, we got credentials for Olivia user. We can try it here. I first tried it for SSH, but it uh, but they didn't work. So we're gonna try it here and press login. And straight ahead, we are inside Safari's National Bank as Olivia user. We get quite some money. And the first question was, uh, we need to tell Tyrell's well, like phone number, which is not present here right now. And we can explore other settings. So let me just turn a burp. Uh, maybe later, let's just do it here right now. We can search for users. Let's just search for Tyrell and see what do we get. Tyrell Relic. We can test for SQL injection here, but I think it's just doing a get request from these table. And we can go to settings. We do not have permission to view the page right now. We can uh, test for another things here, but I don't think it's worth doing that. Yeah. Tyrell or when is equal to one. Nothing. You see um we can see it's using express web framework in the back end we are running nginx and ubuntu 
we're using Node.js, so probably what I'm looking, what I'll be looking for is Express.js and Node.js. It would be probably SSDI. And in messages, we see we have an admin chat. Developers implemented this new messaging feature that I suggested. What do you guys think? So it looks really cool. Have, have you guys seen Mr. Jacobs recently? We see Gail Bab, Gregory uh, Evalia, whatever that is. And if you just go and search for this user, it doesn't exist. If you search on home, it's not even there. So let's see what do we have. But if uh, I started testing for as a uh, cross-site scripting or maybe admin because it's it's called admin chat, right? So maybe admin looks at it and we can steal some cookie. So I tested for, uh, you know, XSS. We can just do basic heading tag and let's see what do we have. We got nothing, but we're running as that. But if you take a look closely, if I text another thing, test, you see the upper chat just vanishes and we only see five, one, two, three, four, five. And if we take a closer look at the URL, we see messages and a C parameter that is equal to five. Let's just try to change it to three. Now we see three chats. Let's just try changing it to zero and let's see what do we get. So when we change it to zero, we can see all the chats and see the developer team were asking Gail for his credentials because he got the admin account and our Gail just provided his password. So we can just go ahead and log in using Gail now and see what do we have. Gail Bell and take his password. There we go. Log in. And now we can see the phone numbers in the clear text. So that was the first question. The next one was just getting the user.txt means we need to find some sort of foothold on the box and that was it. So now we, if we go to messages, there's nothing new. Search, there's nothing new, but now we can access settings. So it must be settings, right? We can, uh, it's probably an uh, endpoint I would like to enumerate. So in customer settings, we can enter a customer name and a new password for them. So let's just try using Tyrell Relic and enter a new password for them. Let's just do admin and let's try to save it. I also intercept the request. So let me turn up my burp and proxy. There we go. Where is my burp? So guys, what are your plans for Diwali? And if you're gonna be using fireworks, send your videos in my Discord channel. Uh, you can just go to discord.hoodie.me. You can see the invite there or I'll post it in the comments. So join and let's see. So we can just hit save and see what do we get. Okay, that's interesting. Let's just go to repeater and see it there. Okay, let's just try to send it and we see our password is being reflected on the web page. So what, what we enter in the password is being reflected there. So we can test for XSS or SSRF. And let's see again. Let's just do word H1. Let's just try to do that. And we see it's turning them to this. And if you just try to render it. Oh, I need to turn on that sandbox thing. Pretty annoying, but let's just do that again. And we see it's escaping those. And so probably not that. We could try some other escape. We can just do XSS polyglot and see if we got any escape thing or not. But what I'd like to do here is uh, let's just put X here. And I, if I just remove this password parameter from here, you'll see. If I press enter, we got a important error that looks like it's using EJS. It's a popular JavaScript template engine. And we see it says password is not defined. So maybe and uh, password is equal to X. If I do that and it's updated to X, maybe there is some other parameter that is not known to us. We can first for it. So I just select, I just select it, go, uh, send it to the intruder tab, go there, load a word list for fuzzing. Let's just do small, um, small words.txt. And let's just start the attack. And in here, you can use fuff. So 
straight ahead we got include and we got some different error include is not a function so let me just stop the attack now and go back go to the repeater and try to type here include and just do it empty and we see another error type error home web pay, web app we use settings.egs online for it's trying to include this comments head Safaris National Bank include is not a function. It's using evil. It's using view render and other stuff. It's trying to render basically a JavaScript template to. Uh, it's using JavaScript to you know to in include the HTML template sort of. And okay, that's interesting. So what do we do? It's pretty straightforward SSTI here, but not the usual one because if if I just go ahead and remove the include function and just test for uh, SSTI here seven asterisk seven and let's just try to send it. So it's escaping everything. So let's just try to do the dollar sign. Maybe we can uh, spin up hack tricks and try another different stuff. But I just went to the Google and searched for EJS SSTI. And the first link I ended up on is this. So it's a blog post on this RC CVE. And if we just go down below to the RC section, we can see. So I spent some time looking around till I find this interesting line in the render file. So this is what he's looking at. Uh, interesting in the case of Express, that's uh, what we're using right here. You can see we are using Express in the background and AGS will copy everything into the options without restrictions. Bingo. Now what we need is just to find the option included in the template body without escaping. Okay, so if we injected code in the output function name option, it will include in the source code payload like this. Uh, okay, so it gave us a payload that we can execute like this and let's just take this whole payload go to our burp suite and let's just try to let's just go ahead and take a look at the error again and can we find that so it's we are using view render and the render option okay so it makes sense so let's just go ahead and use that so there we go and if i just try to pre press enter it says command failed Invalid option hyphen e. So it seems like they used a uh, invalid syntax or netcat command, but seems like it's working, right? So I'd like to use busybox because it's just busybox, and I can't type busybox netcat and my IP twenty one sixty nine one six seven port lead and let's just get a ba uh, bash reversal. I'll set up my netcat listener. And let's see if we can get a shell. And there we go. We got the shell. But uh, what interesting was that uh, we could have just uh, used this. And we, we there is also a sneak post about it. If we just take the CVE and write POC, we will find a sneak blog on it. So it was pretty straightforward from here. Just says the same thing. Affected versions of this package are vulnerable to RCE because via the view options parameter in the render file and which makes it possible to inject code into output function name. That's what that says. So uh, let's just enumerate the box and get root. So we can see if it has Python 3. Yes, let's just stabilize our shell. Import pdy, pdy.spawn bin bash there we go fix and what come on export term is equal to x term let's go and we can go we got our user.txt straight ahead usually i would like to just run sudo iphone lc we can run anything with sudo perms and indeed we can so we can run sudo edit as root without needing the sudo password and can edit this file. So in this case, uh, I already know what to do because it's pretty easy and very common. So we can just export, uh, we can just like define an editor uh, environmental variable to use Vim as an editor and 
let's just edit sudo etsy sudo verse file but instead i just viewed the etsy shadow file but we couldn't crack root's password there wasn't any idrs or root i just viewed the root.txt or we could have just added a uh, etsy sudo verse file you know so let's just do that the double hyphen here just uh isn't necessary but if we just take a look at if you if you were wondering how do we find it so if you just search for sudo edit sudo perm prevask like sudo edit sudo permission prevask uh, it would be the like third blog or you can look at it here so here sudo edit privilege escalation so if we can run sudo edit on a file we can exploit it like this and just that we can put it here instead of john we need to edit and put our user which is our user who am i we are web user so we can put it there and just do su root Instead of all, we need to do no password on all commands. There we go. And now if we just run sudo, sudo edit etsy nginx sites available on admin.safaris.thm. And you'll see we are editing now the uh, sudo as file. So there was an the exploit we can do to get root. And if we just go down below to where it's defining root, there we go. We can edit it here or we can just add or use it to here. There we go. And I'll just save and exit it. Now, if we just do sudo bash, we are root. And we can go to root and see this is a root.txt. So, this was the room, guys. I hope you learned something new and that's it i'll see you till next time and happy diwali again everyone enjoy your time see ya